Michigan. And uh, uh, we're just so blessed to have so many county officials here, and the judges here, the mayor, and, and uh, but most of all the seniors and, and uh, all the partnerships we've had to make this happen. Uh, Mr. Gary, uh, we had a conversation, I think it was 11, maybe, over at Logston Center, uh, you and Mrs. Barnett, over a cup of coffee. And I said to uh, Mr. Watkins, you know, we really need some new housing in Ohio County. And this man took my comments and ran with it. And look what we have today. And we're just so blessed to, to be here. Uh, you know, our we, talk, we had a board meeting last night, and I shared with our, our board, between yesterday and today, we are uh, cutting the ribbons on two properties to the tune of $18 million. And, and I told the board, I said, you, you as a board has, have just given 250 families a new home for Christmas. And who have, who have, whoever else has done that, you know, and what a blessing it is to help, to help other people. Um, you don't sit at our board unless you're in the helping people business because that's what we believe in. As a board, we are fighting the war on poverty in 70 counties in the Commonwealth. And, and to me, that's huge. But we are very committed to making a difference either with the Head Start, with housing. And uh, we have a lot, everybody with Kentucky Housing, hold your hand, hand up. Kentucky Housing people, will you see all this land right here? Yeah. We got plenty of land to build this many more. So we would really like to have some more money from you, okay? Put this on the top of your list. And Mr. Watkins will tell you, I'm not bashful about asking. But, uh, but I know the mayor will contest we need, we need more housing and the judge when we do our needs assessment, it's, that's at the top of the list, transportation and housing. And, and how many residents do we have here that are living here? You love it, don't you? Absolutely. Yeah. So we're all very blessed to, to have these apartments. And um, again, uh, it's, I need to thank the staff. You know, things like this do not happen without great leadership. And we have our CEO, uh, Rob Jones, uh, Brandon. Brandon, where are you? Brandon is our Deputy Chief Executive Officer. I got it right this time. And this man right here, this is Barry Johnson. He's our housing man. And without Barry, I don't know how we would have ever done it. And I want to give Barry and his staff a big hand. Our banking friends, where are you? There, let's give them a hand. That it helps. Well, first of all, next we're going to have Gary Watkins. I mean, he pretty much uh, knows this property <laughs> pretty darn well, and he's an expert. And uh, he and Tracy are both here, Tracy Glasscock, and I've known Tracy for many, many years. We're good friends. And uh, let's see what Gary does say. Well, thanks uh, for each one of you that, that came out uh, today, and, and I want to put Audubon in charge of all of our ribbon cuttings uh, that, that we have because uh, these, uh, we had one yesterday, one today, and these are the two best days that we've had in the last three months. <laughs> so, now on during charge of scheduling all ribbon cuttings, uh, we appreciate our excellent partnership that we've had with Audubon. and. Uh, you know, this, this project has got an interesting story. Uh, we had the market study done for Beaver Dam for Elderly, and, and Charlie told how that she wanted to see the gun pass, and the market study people called and said, we're, we're just not finding a demand. And I said, I think it's there. So somehow or another, they got, of course, they have to work off, off their numbers. And when we built the first 40 units, they were rented before we ever opened the doors. Uh, and to the extent that uh, Charlotte went for Now, Charlotte, she said that she had a talk with Jesus. And uh, I can tell you uh, what her favorite verse in the Bible is. Ask and thou shalt receive. <laughs> and, she's, uh, and she continues to work on that every single day. So then she asked for more, and, and we did the, did the 32 more. And, uh, and they're all full, even before we're really quite 100% done thanks to the, uh, the greatest rainfall that the state has ever had in the history of keeping records. So, uh, but we get them, we got them inside the, inside the doors and 
and uh, hopefully we're going to shape up a little bit and get some other things done. But uh, I want to thank the Sicilian Bank. Uh, we have Jonathan Green and Jennifer Rodiger from the bank uh, for their participation in Kentucky Housing Corporation who uh, awarded $238,000 of Affordable Housing Trust Fund, which is uh, some of their discretionary funds that they have to use that they allocated to this project in addition to the award of the Low Income Housing Tax Credits uh, that was, uh, was the, the greatest financial stimulus that was able to, to make this project uh, to come, to, come to pass. Also, the Federal Home Loan Bank of Cincinnati, who awarded an $800,000 grant for this project. So it took all of that, uh, and again, when you do these things, it's it's not me, 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 and me. It's us that brings everything together. So we're so excited to have the opportunity to to provide this, and, and especially uh, and Edwin here uh, is the chief executive officer of Kentucky Housing Corporation. You got you got the main man here, Kentucky Housing Corporation uh, here now. Uh, he and I, you look at us, we got on these suits and these fancy ties, but uh, underneath this, uh, that facade is just a couple of little country boys, one of them from over at McLean County, another one back to Grayson County, so uh, don't, don't be fooled with all by, by, our, by our facade. We're just, we're just plain old country folks like the rest of us that's uh, trying to work and do the right thing. And, and, and speaking of that, uh, we appreciate the elderly people uh, that are here today. And to quote another Bible verse over in the book of Ezekiel in about the 22nd chapter, it said, I sought for a man among them that would stand in a hedge and, and or, uh, make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land that I would not destroy it, but I found none. And, and our elderly people, have stood in the gap for this country and for their families down through the years. They they fought our wars, they suffered through the depression, uh, and they've given, and many through their lives have given to their children and to their family and to those around them and given and given and given until they have nothing else left to give. And they know the meaning of, of dedication, they know the meaning of sacrifice, as many have sacrificed family members that this country might be free and that we have the opportunity to, to meet here today. And, and they've given and suffered and sacrificed, not for self, uh, but for somebody else that, that they always desire, that their, that their life would be, would be better. And this project is, is dedicated to those, to those people. And, and the lives that they they lived, and it was named for uh, Maya Glasscock, uh, the little girl in the in the L suit, who is um, who's been raised by her grandmother, who, who works for us, and this just exemplifies a generation of people who is willing to sacrifice and give of themselves that their family family and those that they love can have their lives. It's a generation that knows what sacrifice means. It's also a generation that knows what love is. And they've given and they've given and they continue to give. Can we not provide them a safe, decent, affordable place to spend out <coughs> certainly is a the best place in the world to live there's no doubt about that uh, Beaver Dam has done so much to make uh, life good uh, in this city which is part of is, is in their county uh, this project here the first phase in this phase two is certainly a blessing and appreciate everybody's done all the hard work to make it happen and we're providing for uh, those that uh, need this housing 
housing overall is a big issue in our county. And so this is one segment of it that we're getting taken care of. And uh, it'll be, of course, we'll work on the rest of it. Uh, right now, I'd like to say I'm so thankful for everybody for what they've done. Right now, I want to present this little uh, certificate. It says, Welcome to uh, Ohio County, Kentucky. We are honored to have your business in the, in the community. Uh, My Manor, Ohio County, Kentucky, the home of Bluegrass, awarded its 19th day of December 2018. Thank you. Thank everybody for coming out. Thank you for the day, Charlotte. I knew she had something to do with this. I wasn't out of my mind about that. You know, it, it's a good day in Beaver Dam in Ohio County, and uh, we just appreciate the people that's put forth the effort, as Mr. Watkins mentioned earlier, when they first started talking about it. Maybe it didn't look like the need was here, and we appreciate that Charlotte was willing to push. And you folks were willing to dig a little deeper to find out that the need really was here and, and continues to be here. Uh, you know, just four years ago, this was a pasture field. And look at it today, and it's right here for some of the main drag. It's getting visible and a lot of recognition. And we appreciate it very much. And I know our people who live out here are thrilled to be out here and have a nice place. And we're glad to have you in Beaverton. And we appreciate very much your investment and your interest in our community. Thank you, guys. Not a whole lot more to say, except uh, it's wonderful to be working for great people doing great things, and that's what uh, the group of people here today have have displayed in uh, the work on this project, the working with uh, Barry and all the rest of the group at Audubon as well. It's uh, I'm blessed to be here and blessed to be with the group and all the great partners we have. So thank you all very much. Hey, Wendy, do you have anything to say? It's not every day that you can get the Kentucky Housing CEO. <laughs> As Gary said, we're just a couple of old country boys, and it's always nice to be back in this part of the state. Um, uh, I, you know, my family owns farmland in Ohio County. I, I love this community. Um, you know, I, I grew up, my, my uh, stepfather owns logs and lumber and farms just right across the county line over into Livermore. And uh, I grew up doing that, and I can tell you this is a lot easier job. And I've been away from that a little too long. <laughs> my hands are a little soft now, but uh, um, certainly when you talk about the impact um, of what we do as a corporation, um, this is, it, it's good to see our work come to fruition in a project like this. Uh, you know, as Gary said, we invested uh, $238,000 in Affordable Housing Trust Fund dollars. We also allocated $432,000 in low-income housing tax credits, which uh, the remarkable thing about that is that that uh, amount is leveraged into over $3 million to make this project happen. So um, it's, a, it's a good investment for this community. It's a good investment for uh, the residents who are going to be here. Um, you have a great developer in, in uh, uh, Wabuck uh, who, does, who, who does a quality pro, uh, product uh, and uh, certainly cares about um, the future residents living in this, this type of community. Um, Mayor, Judge, um, thank you all so much for being here. Uh, and, and being supportive of this, this development, and uh, we're certainly happy to be a partner in this effort, so thank you all. We also have John Grange, Jennifer Rutter from Cecilia Bank. They uh, were actually uh, the flush through through uh, Federal Home Loan Bank. You guys want to, got anything to say? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy to be part of it. All right, thank you. We're glad you guys came. Uh, <coughs> Anybody have any other responses? If not, we're going to let uh, Charlotte cut that ribbon. Okay. Maya, you come up here. Yes. 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 this project and uh, I want to thank you Ms. Well, well thank you. We have a volunteer <coughs> board and our board members are so dedicated. Jamie Evans actually is official as of today. She's going to represent the chamber on our board and we have Betty who has served how many years? Jamie? 
Jason Chan, are you behind me? I am. Jason, Jason is a board member. And, uh, but these are our, our different counties, and uh, you know, this will not happen with the without the dedication of our board members. So this will uh, hang in the office over there uh, for generations to see uh, of all the people that work worked on our project. So uh, again, thank you for being here. We do have an apartment to, and what's that number? Yes. Where, Darlene, where is what's it? Apartment nine. Apartment nine. And it's around that way? Yeah. And Darlene Gross is our on-site manager, mm -hmm. and she's been awesome. Yeah. Yeah. She was one of the first <laughs> And after, uh, after you visit the apartment, uh, come over, and AARP Kentucky is going to uh, have a reception for you. So uh, uh, I kind of went off the board as chair last night, but I am president of ARP Kentucky, and I represent a half million Kentuckians. So, uh, anyway, uh, we want you to see the beautiful apartments, and then come over to our reception. Thank you.